Hey, what's up, you guys? Sentai2020 here with another very special review. Uh, today I'll be checking out the Voltron Masterpiece Collector Set. Now, to commemorate the 20th anniversary of Voltron, Tonami released a limited edition uh, Voltron line set. Only 15 of these will, 15,000 of these will be made. And so, if you were one of the 15,000, then you were pretty lucky. All of which come in this nice uh, booklet that comes with all five lines so now before I get these five lines into Voltron well, let me just start off on how I got into Voltron now for those of you uh, especially growing up in the 90s and as well as in the 80s uh, Voltron was pretty much one of the greatest animes of all time in the 80s but as for me I you know I was born probably in the, around the late 80s so I did I didn't even get to experience a lot of the 80s cartoon shows as you guys were but luckily a lot of them went into syndication in the 90s so uh, when uh, Voltron was uh, in syndication in a newly uh, a newly Cartoon Network block called Toonami uh, when I first saw it I was like literally amazed and at the same time stunned I was thinking to myself oh my gosh are they copying Power Rangers but then I realized uh, I did a little research on and it turns out that uh, Voltron was the first uh, series to incorporate uh, animals as mechas or vehicle mechas as as uh, animals also the series was made by Toy Animation the same people that did Super Sentai not the anime division but the live, the live action division of 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 toy, uh, but they both shared a lot of uh, mecha concepts that would eventually lead to their very first uh, the very first Super Sentai series to incorporate uh, animal mechas, which would be uh, Live Man in 1988. Um, if you look at a lot of the the previous, the past, and future Sentai's, like if you look at uh, Daijujin and D D Daijujin from Jew Ranger and the Geki Tocha from uh, from Geki Ranger you see that it's pretty much a tribute to Voltron so alright uh, as you can see let me show you guys all the five lines uh, first time I'm going to show you uh, black line give you a little 360 degree view so you can see you got a very nice detailed tail there I mean the detail is pretty much like the anime of course I mean everything is there you got the numbers in the back of the lions from the LED lights in the head of the blue lion oops sorry about that very very perfect for a, a Voltron collector I have to say so alright uh, let me just uh, turn it into Voltron um, before I start let me just say I'm not gonna show you the how I transform it uh, since of course you two has that uh, 10 minute limit so I'm just gonna take you guys straight to Voltron mode uh, if you wanna see if you wanna see uh, how how to transform it uh, there's guys on YouTube that already did this review so you can go to those videos and see how they do it you know go you can do a, a video search I mean it's just I don't want to do a two-parter um, the reason why I do why I do this with Megazords is that they're simple to transform and this one's a kind of like it's kind of like a dragon I don't want to fast forward the video and wouldn't you know wouldn't make wouldn't make any sense so I'm just gonna take you guys to Voltron mode so let me just pause it and there you have it Voltron Defender of the Universe now I apologize for the background change is that, that I had to move everything from my room to my to my kitchen because my little brother was going to sleep so I so I wouldn't bother him talking so um, as you can see very nice very sleek just like the uh, anime series you look at the uh, blazing sword there 
All in all, it's a very good collector's piece. The the uh, downside of this fi of, of this uh, set is that there's a few things that are wrong with it. First off, the wings in the back of Voltron are too small. If you if you have the original toy from the 80s, or if you watch Voltron, you see that the wings are not that are not are not that small. Um, I kind of wish that Toynami would have um, would have done a better job uh, trying to make it a little bit more bigger. Also, um, the lines are not really 100% diecast. Um, as a matter of fact, the the lines front and back legs are all chromed plastic, as well as the line heads. They're all plastic. The only thing that it's die cast is the 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 body structure, you could say. Um, also, I kind of wish that um, Toynami would have done a better job with the quality of the chrome because um, I had a little accident well not really an accident when I was transforming I was trying to fold the legs and unfortunately this piece came out <laughs> so but don't worry you can easily it it holds it holds into place without any uh, uh, epoxy or crazy glue so you just hold it in there and it'll stay still in line mode and in Voltron mode it doesn't really matter so um, all in all, it's a pretty pretty cool set. I mean, if you really want the diecast version, you're gonna have to pay a lot more. This one this one ran me for uh, 150 bucks. But just recently, uh, Tonami just released the 25th anniversary edition Voltron, which is non diecast. Uh, if you're if you're on a budget, uh, that one is a lot a lot cheaper. It costs like around 80 bucks. So yeah, it's 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 if you don't want to spend that much, that's the other option. So, all right, uh, that's about it. Uh, join me next time, you guys. Please subscribe. Uh, before I go, let me just say that um, I hate to say I'm I'm thinking of selling just like my Power Gun and Morpher. I'm also selling my Voltron Masterpiece Edition. Um, if you guys like PM me any offer, you can email me from the link from my email address, which. It will show on the screen below, or you can PM me, PM me via YouTube. So, um, if you want, I'll show you via YouTube. Um, also, uh, if you want to know about the accessories, I'm going to show you right now. With the Voltron uh, set, it comes with the uh, booklet, which says the story about the lines, and it comes with this with the. Um, with the shield as well as if you look at here you have the certificate of authenticity saying that you're out of the 15,000 owners you're out of the 15,000 that own one of these so it's pretty cool uh, piece to have that commemorative uh, certificate there so alright uh, that's about it you guys I hope you guys like my videos so this is Sentai 2020 and I'm out